So in collaborating with the district and asking several stakeholders, many stakeholders, what the needs are for our schools, all the way from administration to teachers, there was a wide range of programming needs that we identified from donors choose so teachers could get items they need in their classrooms to serve the students to mental health needs for the entire district, which is the biggest investment the foundation will make over the next five years. And the art and schools program, which will meet the needs of all elementary schools, third and fourth graders, um, they can get formal art education. So it's a really wide range of programming that the community is investing in through the foundation, um, but it was done with a lot of intention and purpose and um, stakeholder input from the community. I have started, I think, three projects now for Donors Choose. Um, one project, I got flexible seating because I have a special ed room and a lot of my kids have hyperactivity and that was such a good investment because they're able to um, stem and have their bounces while also interacting with our lessons. So, and it's been great because it hasn't been a distraction. And then I started a classroom grocery store as well for my other project and that's been great because the kids get to self-assess at the end of class and tell me if they did a great job or they didn't do their best that day. And then at the end of the week they can use that money to either save up or buy something from our store. So it helps with their math and money skills and also self-assessing. I like to draw and color. Um, I think it, it just helps me get in a good mood and calm down when I'm stressed. I think uh, the Art in Schools program for students is really important because it gives them a chance to have a moment to just be creative and be themselves and get to express themselves in a way that I don't think they normally get to. It's so interesting to them that they've seen how the colors mix together or the different possibilities that you can make with art. And I think that's really important for kids. Um, you know, it's probably important for adults too to have that moment of creativity. I think for my students particularly, that just reflection of how they feel, I think for them to have a place to go and tools to use, I think it really just helps them foster their love of school. It's so important for them to be able to express their feelings, even if they can't do it verbally. So I have six sensational children and 16 typically developing children. And just to have those coping skills throughout life is so important and those foundational skills early are shown to have the most importance. I've been a student ambassador for two years now, but I originally applied because I just have this passion for philanthropy. I absolutely love going out to local businesses and getting to know the community and getting donations from local businesses. It's just really heartwarming knowing that our community is so kind and so giving, um, so that's always a great thing to experience. What I enjoy the most is um, getting to work with my peers and my classmates on a respecting level, like we get to communicate and really get to hear each other. Teachers only have such a limited amount of money that goes into their supplies because they're also there to make a living. Teachers are paying out of pocket to decorate their classrooms and to make their students' lives better the resources that we as children we need like mental other mental health outlets and supplies in the classroom that can help our learning. Well, Edmond Public Schools does make up a large amount of our community and I think it's really important especially because I'm sure everyone knows, has those connections, knows people who are either in Edmond Public Schools or have a student that they know and I think it's really cool that they can know what they're giving to versus just giving money and then having their money lost somewhere. They know that they're gonna be impacting individual classrooms, individual teachers, individual students, and it's a personal connection there as well. And also I just think it's important to give because just the more stuff that comes in, the more we're gonna get out of it at the end of the day. And the more we can get out, the 
more successful students and teachers can be in the future. and touched when they told me um, that I had been nominated. You know, everyone wants to be appreciated, but to know that you're respected by your peers and hear that some of the wonderful things that they said just makes it all feel worthwhile. It feels like you're making a difference in your small part of the world. You, do, you have so many different hats as a teacher. You're not just there delivering information. You're you know, providing an environment for them to feel successful, for them to thrive, for them to be challenged, for them to fail. and to pick themselves back up. And so I just, I, I fell in love with it and I can't ever see myself doing something different than that. It's funny how you kind of find your way back to the places that influence you the most. You can fund any project by the donors choose. Um, we can fund art projects or athletic things, really just any sort of project that you want. So you can find something to donate to that means something to you.